In this video, you'll learn how to use the color wheel to make better color choices. The colors you use, whether it be for your branding, products, web pages, infographics, video content, or anything else related to your marketing, will have a direct impact on its performance. So you need to make sure you are approaching your color selections in the right way. When it comes to deciding on color schemes, the vast majority of people just go with their gut feel. Although intuition can be a good starting point, backing it up using the color wheel will provide you with a proven framework which leads to better results. And in this easy to follow video, you will learn exactly how. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm John here at Spiel Creative. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you'll get notified every time we upload a new video to help you with your video marketing. So let's get started by answering the question, what exactly is a color wheel? Well, the color wheel is basically a visual representation of how different colors relate to each other, with the colors closest to each other on the color scheme being most analogous and those further away from each other being most contrasting. In addition, we can see the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, appear in a triangular relationship on the color wheel. And so do the three secondary colors, orange, green, and violet. And everything remaining on the wheel are tertiary colors. In addition, we can see that half of the wheel includes the cooler colors and the other half, the warmer colors. Okay, so now let's go through the four most common ways the color wheel is usually used to help make better color choices. Starting with number one, monochromatic colors. Monochromatic basically refers to color schemes which consist of variations of one single color. On the wheel, you can see the different shades of each color nicely represented with the shades furthest apart having the largest contrast. Monochromatic color schemes are great for creating a harmonious look as they provide a strong sense of visual cohesion. So they are usually a good choice when you want to make a more mature and conservative approach and build trust. However, on the flip side, monochromatic color schemes can have difficulty standing out and can sometimes appear a bit boring. So if your goal is to really grab the attention of your viewers in a crowded space, in this instance, using a harmonious monochromatic color scheme may not be the best choice. Okay, moving on, we have number two, analogous colors. These are colors which are found right next to each other on the color wheel. For example, orange, yellow, and red are analogous colors and appear in close proximity to each other on the color wheel. Analogous color schemes are commonly found in nature. For example, the orange, yellow, and red colors I just mentioned are often seen at sunrise and sunset. Analogous color schemes like monochromatic ones are also great for creating a strong sense of harmony and elegance, yet provide more contrast and vibrancy when compared with color schemes that rely on using different shades of just one color. When using analogous color schemes in your marketing, make sure you choose shades of each color which have an adequate amount of contrast between them so that your work can properly stand out. In addition, for consistency, make sure you use the same depth for each color. Also, analogous colors that are either all warm colors or all cool colors tend to combine well, so keep this in mind when you opt for this color scheme. Okay, and thirdly, we have number three, complementary colors. These are colors which are basically on the opposite side from each other on the color wheel. For example, if you're deciding on the color scheme of a product which will be on the shelves of supermarkets and you really need it to stand out and be noticed in a crowded space, complementary colors can be a good option. Or if you have a web page which has a blue color scheme and you really want to draw attention to your call to action button, using blue's complementary color orange will provide you with the highest degree of contrast and so help your CTA stand out on the page. Now, although complementary colors can be great for creating a vibrant look and in helping you stand out, it's important that you don't overdo it with them. Otherwise, they can easily create a jarring look which is off-putting. In a nutshell, moderation is key when it comes to using complementary colors. And finally, let's move on to number four, triadic colors. A triadic color scheme is one which uses three colors which are evenly spaced on the color wheel. Triadic colors can be easily located on the color wheel by drawing an equally spaced triangle on it. 
For example, the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue, are triadic colors as they are evenly spaced on the color wheel. Like monochromatic and analogous colors, triadic color schemes have a nice harmonious feel to them. However, while monochromatic and analogous colors are generally more soothing, triadic color combinations can help provide a more vibrant and lifting feel. A good rule of thumb to remember when creating a triadic color scheme is to select one of the three colors as your dominant one and then use the other two to complement it. This will help to ensure your triadic color scheme is vibrant but without being overwhelming or jarring. So that's it folks, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any further questions about the color wheel, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos to help you with your video marketing. And finally, if you need any more help with your video marketing in general, don't hesitate to get in touch with us here at Spiel by visiting www.spielcreative.com. Thanks for watching.